I'm going to read one for Seamus Heaney, who just passed away recently. I had the privilege of meeting the man a couple of times, and he was a wonderful, down there, humble, he was a humble man. So I want to read one of my favourite ones of his. It's called Follower. He's telling the story about when he was a boy following his father as he ploughed the field. Follower. My father worked with a horse plough. His shoulders glowed like a full sail strung between the shafts and the furrow. The horse strained at his clicking tongue. An expert. He would set the wing and fit the bright steel pointed sock. The sod rolled over without breaking at the head rig with a single pluck. The sweating team turned around then and back into the land. His eye narrowed and angled at the ground, mapping the furrow exactly. I stumbled in his hobnailed wake, fell sometimes on the polished sod. Sometimes he rode me on his back, dipping and rising to his plod. I wanted to grow up and plough, to close one eye, stiffen my arm. All I ever did was follow in his broad shadow around the farm. I was a nuisance, tripping, falling, yapping always. But today, it is my father who keeps stumbling behind me, and he will not go away. Beautiful. serious subject. I saw an article recently that said the divorce rate in the United States had quadrupled. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, something's wrong. What's going on? What happened to the holy sanctity of marriage? You know? We're <laughs> <laughs> asking the wrong guy. <laughs> so anyway, I gave it long and hard thought. And I've just asked you this, right. What of Anthony Weiner? <laughs> Elliot, Sp <laughs> Elliot Spitzer, Bill Clinton, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dominique Strauss Kahn, remember the Frenchman, that Frenchman? Yes. Yeah. Jesse James, not the outlaw now, the other Jesse, the motorbike man, you know him? <laughs> what? You know, and all those other unfortunate men caught with their underwear down around their ankles, what have they got in common? That's what I was thinking, you know. What have they all got in common? And I've racked my brains for ages. <laughs> Puzzling over this conundrum, I believe I have discovered the solution. <laughs> it came to me in a flash one night as I was lying on the couch stroking the rabbit. <laughs> I have a little wild rabbit, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. I was lying there anyway and I had another epiphany. The simple answer, baby oil. <laughs> simple as that. Now, right. Okay, now, now, I say um, I say unfortunate men because we truly can't be held responsible. And I will explain why, and I'm sure that you will all agree with me. It all starts with the midwife in the delivery room within two minutes of our entry into this world. The cord is cut, the newborn is washed and dried, and the foolish woman then reaches for the baby eye. She proceeds to apply it liberally all over the tiny body, paying particular attention to that region between the navel and the knee. And that's where it all starts. <laughs> right? Then, then his doting mother wraps him up, takes him home, and proceeds on a daily basis to repeat the ritual. <clears throat> the look of pure pleasure on his little innocent face is enough to encourage her to instruct the nanny, the babysitter, or whoever continues the ritual in her absence to make sure that her little pride and joy 
gets well and truly ironed regularly. <laughs> this <laughs> this continues without fail every day for approximately the next two years and then it abruptly stops by that time the damage is done and we're hooked <laughs> So on behalf of all of us unfortunate men, I put forth the theory that the females who had control of us when we were very young and defenseless are responsible for it all. Us little boys as we grow into adulthood have a deep subconscious memory of those first two years. We have developed uncontrollable urges regarding oils, incense, and massages by nubile Norwegian girls. <laughs> so now that you know all of this, I'm sure you will agree with me when I say, is it any wonder we have these cravings? We just can't help it. Now my advice to all ladies is very, very simple. To ensure a happy, faithful union and a man who won't stray, either get rid of the baby oil in the beginning or Start buying it in bulk and use it all. <laughs>